Did you see that squirt? <laughs> this is wild. I can spot a good squirt from a mile away. Yeah, can I go ahead and do uh, one plate and one kid's meal? Both with orange chicken and chow mein, please. Let's, let's compare the sizes. I love it because it's the perfect size for both of us. It like equally represents Equal both represents. Of our Mine is very needs. cute. Look at this little panda. It's Mine's my face. large and grotesque and Yours too much for one as, person yep. to consume. Okay. Oh, you go, you go orange first. Mmm. You have this just crazy punch of acidity, sweetness, spice, and then what you don't notice are the aromatics on the back end. So you're like getting the ginger, even though you wouldn't immediately think ginger when you taste yeah. it, but you get it and that's what actually makes it unique. Now that you're mentioning it, I do, right? I do hit, the ginger what's, is hitting. What's your professional critique? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think one thing I do love about orange chicken is I do love dark meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's an anti-McDonald's. They do all white meat and they yeah. brag about it. No, no, no. Panda's doing all dark meat and they're doing it right. Yeah. So I really wanted to take you to a chicken farm and I wanted you to catch our own chicken and that we could actually bring back and butcher and uh, dress ourselves. But I thought that might be a little bit intense and also I was told I'm not allowed to do that. So instead we're going with the low hanging fruit literally and we're going to an orange farm. We gotta go orange picking. That's the key to success in this dish, getting the freshest orange as possible. It's a perfect place to chase someone if you're gonna kill them. Yes. If you ask a murderer if they're going to murder you and they say no, they're not allowed to murder you anymore. Yeah, I've heard that. I'm Josh. Hi, I'm Janet. So like how many years has this been operating? We've been here since 1961 we planted. If you were to make orange chicken, the best orange chicken, the fanciest orange chicken you possibly could. Oh, all oranges are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the politically correct yeah, answer. Right you have now, to say that. Right now the best orange is a Valencia. We just okay. ended the navel season. Awesome. And uh, But right now the Valencias are great. So is it cool if we just like go out and pick some oranges ourselves? It is cool. Go for it. Can you make wine out of oranges? I guess you can, right? Yeah, you can make like wine out of orange anything. wine? How long would it take to make an orange wine? Ooh, I don't know, we should try. We should try to have like an orange. I've been pitching Willet wine for a while. Willet wine? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we have to taste test one like just to get the flavor profile. Like rip it open? Is yeah. this good? I don't know. No, that's, we gotta get a ripe one from up top. <laughs> yeah. Concert style. That looks good. Does anyone else want an orange while I'm up here? Did you see that squirt? <laughs> this is wild. Um, I can spot a good squirt from a mile away. <laughs> this is really good. Right? This is a really good orange. Do we need to even go any further? <laughs> oh, Christine, do we need to go any further? We're not trying to just find like a usable orange. I want to find the best orange in this entire grove. What about these ones? Let's Ooh, grab where? some of these puppies. <gasps> Look, they're so nice and orange. Okay, I'm going to pull. Wait, do you see that one up there? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we can't let me down. Good ride, horsey. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a sugar cube? I feel like this is very peaceful. This is. How many oranges do you need for orange chicken? Uh, just one. Oh wait, my, wait. You, wait, you do have a good vertical. I'm, I'm like legitimately impressed. I can touch it, but it's hard to grab it. Oh, congratulations. What do you want, like a trophy? Here, here's your trophy. Thank you. Look at her go. I don't need tall people. You're doing good. Ah! Can you come get these oranges for me though? Oh yeah, yeah, I gotcha. It's hard to climb when your hands are full. Some fun brachiating. I think we got what we need. Yeah? I feel ready to cook. I was like always ready to cook, but you were, this is your whole idea. I was like, should we just go to Ralph's? You were like, oh, this is the orange grove. Yeah, I'm very difficult. I'm high maintenance. <laughs> Christine, we're back here in the kitchen. You changed. I think you've changed too. I mean, we've all changed. We've I've been literally through. not changed. You still smell the same as when you were on the orange grove. That's horrifying, thank you. All right, so let's get into this. This is how we're gonna make mm -hmm. our orange chicken fancy. We obviously got those beautiful Valencia oranges from Glass Ranch, but everything's gonna start with a chicken. So this actually isn't a chicken, it is a capon, which is a neutered French rooster. Anytime you're affecting the genitals of an animal, its value immediately goes up. For the flour for dredging, we're using grist and toll. This mm -hmm. is a hard white wheat flour, so it's got a high gluten content. I hope you're not gluten intolerant, because it's about to get real farty in the kitchen. We're about to find out. And then this, you'll notice from every rap song possible, this is Ooh. Cristal uh, Louis Rode. This is about $300 a bottle, and we can't drink any of it, because we have to put it all into our orange chicken sauce. I mean, we can drink a bit of it. We could get some mimosas going, come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a little dashy boy. We have work to do. Okay. okay. And then we have our Shaoxing cooking one. This is common in a lot of Chinese dishes. This is gonna go both into the sauce and into the marinade. We could just get lit if we didn't want to make this. I think we might chicken. as well just this do that. Got wine, like, we got wine, You know what gets you real lit? Sodium bicarbonate water. This is lye Delicious. water. Delicious. You put this in the That's chow mein noodle dough. It makes the noodles even more supple. Then, if you want to get even more lit, what's more lit than oyster sauce with burr, dried burr, scallops burr. threads? <laughs> it's the dried scallops that will do you then. You gotta rub it in your gums, it gets in your bloodstream faster. Then we have this beautiful surubishio, which is a four year age Japanese shoyu. I don't know any of those words, but I believe you. And then we have this orange blossom honey that is coming from Glass Ranch as well. This is the only thing from here that I can afford to eat. Oh, that was like 18 bucks. Well, never mind. I know what you're thinking. I'm staring at Josh inside of Josh. And as much as I'd love to be inside myself, I would love it even more if you subscribe to the Mythical YouTube channel. If enough of you subscribe, I'll get more shows, and you can all be inside me too. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications. Okay, so the first step, we gotta take this beautiful cape on, and we need to butcher it and remove all its skin. What I like to do first is take off the wings. There we I go. I heard it break! And then you can just Rip the wing right off. You're a monster. You did it. You're a monster. You're complicit. All right, and now the rest of it, the bird pretty much takes care of itself. This is a very fat and big bird. That's what happens bird. when you take off its testes. It looks like it's very meditative, but also disgusting for you. Yes, meditative but disgusting is kind of my brand. So what we're actually gonna be doing with the skin in the bowl is we're gonna be rendering it down into its fat, and then we're gonna fry the chow mein in the capon fat. It's like murdering a family and then dressing itself in its clothes or something. How else would you do it? And we're gonna see if we can get one more joint crack to expose. You're too comfortable at this. This is the least disgusting thing I've done in this kitchen. I don't wanna know what the most disgusting thing is and I don't think we... Boiled my boss's pee. Okay, so now we actually need to fry this chicken. It starts okay. with the marinating process, kind of similar to a uh, Japanese karaage. So what you're gonna do is take a tablespoon of that very fancy soy sauce, pour that in there. Tablespoon? Tablespoon. All right. You've seen it. There we go. And then you're gonna do a tablespoon of the Shaoxing cooking wine as well. I love cooking wine. And then if you wanna whisk up those egg whites, that's great. That's how I whisk. Sesame oil and a little bit of salt. Uh, this do you wanna... is how it's done. I'm just gonna... Oh, here's the proper I didn't mean way the, No, to I'm whisk. just like, we gotta get cooking done. Ben's Man's already mad. Mansplaining whisking to me like I've never, right. okay, it looks different, I get so it. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and dump that in there and okay. then give it a good toss. I'm gonna get this pan heating. Like double dutch. <laughs> it's just like double dutch. But with raw chicken. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take equal parts uh, white wheat flour and then rice flour and you have to try and mix that as fast as you can and get all of the chicken clumps separated. If you had to hire a sous chef, would you hire me out of everyone because I'm doing pretty good today? Yes. All right. Wow, I wasn't So excited. we just gotta wait for this to heat up to about 325 and then we're gonna fry in there in batches. How do you know it gets to 325, just boiling? Not there yet. All right, so now we need to fry this chicken up. So what mm -hmm. we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strainer and we're gonna work in batches to not overcrowd the pan. You're gonna shake off a little bit of that excess flour and then we're just gonna get this right into the hot oil. So just like scoop it under there. I'll hold it. We can kind of ghost it. This, you're doing great. Oh, got you a live one. Oh, we're gonna put this here on the boat. Let's play with hot burning duck fat. All right. So we're starting out with our 2008 Cristal. This is the fanciest champagne that any mid 2000s rap video has to offer. We went to an orange ranch. We got Cristal. We're gonna do mimosas. You know, it's been a long week. This is the fanciest mimosa I've ever had in my entire Dude, life. I hope this is the fanciest mimosa most people have had. That was a lot Man. cooler than I expected. I okay. feel like I should be going to Ballerholics Anonymous meetings. All right. Wait. Cheers. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, that's really nice. That's really, that's really good. No, 2000, this is not a bit. 2008 Crystal has like really beautiful honeysuckle notes, which is why I wanted to use it it's in this dish. Here for the honeysuckle. So that's just gonna go. Champagne showers. You gotta do it up right. top. The entire bottle? Yeah, the whole bottle. So we're gonna reduce this entire bottle into a half cup of liquid. So we're gonna get all that super concentrated flavor right into our orange sauce. So chug a lug, we got chug noodles a lug. to make. You're gonna shuck some fresh oysters. So you just have to find an opening in the shell. And then you're gonna jam the knife in there, being careful not to stab yourself. Shove it in the butt area. And then you can just Is this how they do it normally? Yeah. You know, a girl never forgets the first oyster she shucked. Ah, uh, why won't you text me back? Hey, hold on, maybe, maybe, hey, uh -huh. let me, can I, can I jump in? Yeah, let me, let me just jump in there real me fast. Show. Just press down 
There, you did it all by yourself. Oh, it's like learning about levees and puller. Pullers and levees. Pullers and levees. The Jewish family's down the street. Ooh, so this is a beer to ham. This is similar to prosciutto, but it's a Spanish version. You want me to feed you ham? Now you can feel rich. This is what rich people do every day. We had oysters all of your mm. hand. Oysters and ham, it's a classic combination, like lamb and tuna fish. We're just gonna go ahead, cube up some of that ham. You're just mashing at it at this point. That's great, watch out for your fingers. I'm, that's a nice sharp knife. Okay. We're doing the same thing. So now we're gonna take that capon fat. Capon fat. We're gonna get fat. that heating as hot as possible. We Can don't I toss start, it in? Not yet. Okay. We're gonna wait for it to start smoking. It should be pretty fast though. It's a hot walk. Can we wait for us to start smoking? Hell yeah, dude. 420 plays it. I love what you did with your knife cuts, how you kind of made this like paper mache type situation Your where earrings. the knife never went through it <laughs> at all. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the ham and oysters. You gotta go, you gotta say one thing. Bam! We're gonna get sizzle right in there. Ow. Then I'm gonna take the noodles. Wait, can I do it? Yeah, here, wait, hold on. Be ginger. Ooh, ooh, I don't know what that means. That's great. You get the noodles tossed and all that fat. Then we're gonna get our veggies. Side, and then we're just gonna continue to saute and toss. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna lie, this stuff smell incredible. Doesn't it? It smells amazing. It's starting to look amazing. All right, so this is where the orange chicken becomes the orange chicken. It all comes together. You have the very important job of squeezing all the oranges into that and also killing that fly. Shh, shh, everyone. Oh my God, did you really kill it into the orange? I caught it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm so impressed right now. That's that capon fat. And then you're just gonna keep juicing those oranges. Gonna get garlic in there. Lots of ginger. Some Thai chilies. Shaoxing cooking one. Rice vinegar. I love rice vinegar. I love rice vinegar. A little bit of sesame oil. Then I'm gonna zest a whole orange. This is gonna give you all that beautiful floral, slightly bitter notes. That's gonna go right in there. That? Honestly, it already smells really bomb. Just putting in. I already put the champagne in there, huh? I'm gonna make some. I was going real fast. I forgot what I was doing. What I realized I called Shaoxing cooking wine earlier was actually $300 worth of Cristal champagne that I dumped unceremoniously into the wok. Shaoxing cooking wine. A little bit of soy in there. The soy boy? Just a little bit. I identify as a soy boy. A lot of people call me no, soy boy. No, you're more of a bougie boy. Hashtag bougie boy for life. <laughs> and then we're gonna put a whole lot of that orange blossom honey. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, kill that That's bear. That's nice. It's starting to come together. You can smell the honey on it. That's looking really great. And the final step is to make a cornstarch slurry, which is actually Machine Gun Kelly's given Christian name. Toss it all in there. Woo! This looks amazing. This is fantastic. So we're just gonna let all that sauce thicken up. Can I, can I? Can I wallop it? Yeah, you wanna wallop it? Make sure to grab the wood. It. The wood doesn't get hot. That's great. You're doing awesome. You're so helpful and graceful. All right, orange chicken's done. Now we just gotta plate it up. I feel so much pressure to enjoy this. Yeah. Because if I don't, then you just like wasted oh, so much time and energy. Yes. And so now we just have to take some chili threads. This is the most important part, the tweezers. The tweezers. Gonna... Me and my chin no tweezers, trust me. What did you say about your chin and tweezers? Just like a single whisker. A lot of women have it. A lot of women have it. Can I, may I? Yeah, please. Can I uh, let on top? Uh, 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 I, I just throw it. Okay. okay. There's our fancy orange chicken. Oh my God. Let's that see how it compares beautiful. to the OG dish. How much champagne did they use in this one? Not enough. Okay. So there's a lot of color differences, actually. I think this one is more vibrant. There is, I think we got some more caramelization on our sauce. Theirs doesn't have that. This looks a little bit more corn syrupy. We use the kind of dark honey, but otherwise, like, the shape of the chicken's pretty similar. The chow mein's a little similar. Ours is a little darker because yeah. we used a whole wheat flour and they're not. But otherwise, these look pretty similar. Ours looks way sexier. Let's do it. Let's eat it. I like the texture of the chicken, it's really good. It's a little more sour than I think I'm used to mm -hmm. orange chicken being. I love that you actually get the champagne in there. There's that yeah. whole bottle of crystal, like, there's that little tinge in the back of your mouth like you just chugged a mimosa. Yeah. Like think about yourself chugging a mimo mimosa at brunch. That's the flavor that's in your mouth. This is actually really awesome. How much does this bowl right here cost? This bowl right here costs $374.16. A little bit pricier than that one. But that's also like 
You know, an improv class is worth of money. Take an improv class or have a bowl of chow mein and orange chicken. The uh, endless debate in LA. I'd take a Diet Coke over an improv class. <laughs> Fair enough. Let me know in the comments what fast food you want me to fancify next. And thank you so much for watching and showing support. If you want to keep showing support, go subscribe to the Mythical YouTube channel. To get enough subscribers, we can keep making awesome food content like this. See you next time.